The country of Bangladesh is one of the most vulnerable countries in the threat of climate change and global warming. Located in South Asia, between the larger countries of India and Myanmar, Bangladesh has a long coastline of 580 kilometers that opens into the Bay of Bengal. With climate change increasing sea levels globally, Bangladesh can lose up to 17% of its land area to the sea, displacing around 20 million people by 2050. Bangladesh is a relatively small country, only about 140 million square kilometers in area. This actually makes it smaller than the U.S. state of Iowa. However, despite its size, it is one of the most densely populated countries on Earth. Bangladesh's population of 166 million people is actually higher than even that of Russia's at 144 million. It is home to some of the mightiest rivers in the world, including the Ganga and the Brahmaputra, known as the Padma and Jamuna in Bangladesh. In addition to these rivers, it also receives ample rainfall from the monsoon winds that blow in from the south. This makes Bangladesh one of the most richly endowed countries in terms of water resources. However, in reality, these mighty rivers and heavy rains coupled with climate change are pushing Bangladesh towards a water catastrophe more deadly than any being faced by other countries in the world today. And it may only get worse over time. The World Bank estimates in 2015 that over 3.5 million Bangladeshis were at risk of river flooding every year. That number has only likely risen since then, and the floods threaten not only its people, but also the country's agriculture, infrastructure, and clean water supply. So why is Bangladesh struggling with flooding? If we take a look at the flood map of Bangladesh, what becomes clear is that the country is affected by a diverse set of water problems. The majority of flooding in the northern and central portion of the country is due to the rivers and rainfall. Every year, on average, over 26,000 square kilometers of Bangladesh, which is around 18% of the country, is affected by flooding. However, in the years that the flooding is severe, this number can exceed over 75% of the entire country. Since the country has a number of rivers running through it, the timing of the flooding from these rivers can also greatly affect the severity of the floods that hit Bangladesh. See, 80% of Bangladesh lies within the floodplain of these rivers, as they drain into the Bay of Bengal at the south end of the country. Since it is the lower courses of these rivers that flow through Bangladesh, they face extra threat of flooding. These rivers carry huge volumes of water and silt with them, and with the channels of the rivers being shallow, the riverbanks often burst, causing terrible flooding in the plains, especially when there's excess rainfall and excess rainfall is something that is normal in Bangladesh. You see, Bangladesh is a very wet country, receiving an average of 2,200 millimeters of rain every year, the majority of which happens just between the months of July and October. During this period, the already loaded rivers are unable to bear the additional load of water thrust upon them. And it is not at all surprising that this is the period of the year when the country is affected by flooding the most. The reason that Bangladesh struggles to deal with this type of flooding from rivers and rainfall is that the country's natural drainage system is often unable to cope with the sheer amounts of water that it has to deal with. In addition to this, poor construction practices and overpopulation have only further weakened the country's natural drainage. Apart from the problems arising out of the rivers and rainfall, the southern portion of the country is threatened by problems that arise out of another source of water, the Bay of Bengal. See, Bangladesh is a very low-lying country, having an average elevation of less than 10 meters above sea level, barring some regions. Sea level rise and storm surges thus flood a major portion of the country, especially in the southern regions. Cyclones blowing in from over the ocean cause an increase in sea level, known as storm surges along the low-lying coastal regions. And since Bangladesh is located right at the triangular-shaped head of the Bay of Bengal, it is extremely vulnerable to cyclones. During the months of April and May, before the monsoons, as well as after them in the months of October and November, cyclones frequently hit the coastal regions of Bangladesh, bringing with them storm surges, death, and devastation. About 40% of all storm surges globally are recorded in Bangladesh on a yearly basis. Bangladesh also has recorded the most severe cyclones in terms of casualties in the last 50 years. 
This is in part due to the lack of coastal protection systems and adequate infrastructure to withstand the cyclones. Sea level rise, apart from flooding the land, also leads to salinity intrusion. Salinity intrusion can also take place within the soil, and an increase in soil salinity is bad news for Bangladesh's largely agrarian population, as saline soil leads to a decrease in yield and a lower income for farmers. What further exacerbates the problem is the fact that the country is very densely populated in most areas, and its people are often clustered together close to the rivers and the coastline because they use the rivers or the ocean to earn their livelihood. This means that when flooding occurs, these people are often affected much worse than they would be if they lived further from the water, as both their lives and means to earn are taken from them. And if that wasn't enough, another troubling fact for Bangladesh is that most of the rivers that drain it actually do not originate in Bangladesh. These rivers mainly originate in China and India. If China and India decide to control the supply of fresh water entering Bangladesh by building dams on the upper portion of the rivers, Bangladesh is doomed. China is already planning to build a massive dam on the Yarlung Tsang Po, which is also known as the Brahmaputra or the Jamuna in Bangladesh. This could have horrible effects on Bangladesh and its people. Experts have stated that the dam could cause flash floods which could further devastate the already stricken people of Bangladesh. It could also create a scarcity of water, something just as bad for their survival. The dams will also stop the rivers from carrying fertile silt into the floodplains of Bangladesh, something essential for the primary agricultural country. The dams also give India and China political power and influence over Bangladesh's water resources, which they could use to further their own goals. But worse than these two countries toying with Bangladesh is the fate that awaits Bangladesh if climate change is left unchecked. While these problems are occurring right now, the future could hold much worse. Due to the majority of the country living close to sea level and having a large coastline, in the future, if climate change causes the oceans to rise, a big chunk of the nation could be completely submerged under the sea. If the seas were to rise by just one meter, over 17,000 square kilometers of Bangladesh would be submerged. This would also displace over 15 million people who would have to find new lands to live on. As a country already struggling with overpopulation and overcrowding, this could cause terrible problems in finding housing and shelter for all the people of Bangladesh. In fact, in recent years, huge numbers of Bangladeshis have been displaced due to these issues. Riverbank erosion can displace anywhere between 50,000 to 200,000 people every year. Thousands more flee every time a new cyclone makes its way up the coast. In a country where habitable land is already scarce, constant displacement has led to there being insufficient space for the Bangladeshi people. And for this very reason, hordes of them migrate to the neighboring countries of India and Myanmar, crossing the borders illegally as climate refugees. In the new countries they arrive in, they are viewed as illegal outsiders, and they're often forced to live in crowded refugee camps, with poor sanitation and resources, and a lack of employment opportunities for a huge numbers of people coming through. However, all is not lost. Bangladeshis who live near the coastlines are used to relocating whenever the threat of a cyclone is imminent. They could build their houses on elevated foundations, so that they don't get flooded so easily. These little methods have helped the people of Bangladesh live with the flooding that they have been facing for decades. In order to repel the three-pronged danger of population pressure, saltwater intrusion, and climate change, Bangladesh has come up with the Bangladesh Delta Plan 2100, a long-term vision for water and food security, economic growth, and sustainable development that should better equip the country to deal with natural disasters and climate change. If Bangladesh is able to combine the knowledge of its locals along with international technologies, perhaps they could find a way to combat the severe water crisis the country is facing. It remains to be seen if this will happen. And there we have it, folks, the catastrophic water problem that Bangladesh is currently facing. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.